Those are fa fans of the District 4-3A champion Northwest Raiders on first and ten. The Raiders. Let's send it over to <laughs> News 10 Sports Dawson D'Amico with some Lafayette matchups. That's right, guys. St. Thomas Moore was looking for their sixth straight win against North Vermillion today. Let's take a look at some of the highlights. We were at Cougar Stadium for this matchup. Cougars get the ball first. Second play from scrimmage quarterback Cole Bajeron hands the ball to running back Cade Mosek, finding his way all the way to the five yard line. He gets pushed out of bounds right at the five. That sets up a Dane Fogier touchdown. Next possession, Bajeron finds Cade Wilkerson for the quick touchdown, adding to their already big lead. Cougars end up rolling over the Patriots 56 to 7. Heading down the road to Ovi Como, the Spartans looking for their first win since 2022 against Westgate. It's a very long time since they've got one. It did not start off well for them, though, punting as they were punting again on their five yard line. A high snap sends the ball into the end zone for a safety. And right when you started to think it was going to be a long game, the Spartans found a little bit of spark. Taking advantage from a few mistakes from the Tigers, the Spartans take the lead with this huge touchdown by tight end Traylon Carmouche and a field goal by Isaac Varela at the end of the half. Westgate ended up taking over in the second half, though. Last score update we got was Tigers up on the Spartans, 52-16. to Now don't forget to turn into the first and 10 post show on YouTube and Facebook Live where the team goes over the ins and outs of week nine, Acadiana High School football. Ski, I'll send it back over to you. Thanks, Dawson. We're going to have some Thursday night action. AES versus LRCH from Clark Field. Blue Gators lead 7-0 first quarter. Fourth and goal. The AES defense stiffens. They keep the Tigers out of the end zone. Then on the ensuing drive, Lafayette Renaissance, their defense stands tall. Brandon Mitchell tackled in the end zone. It's now 7-2. Same score on to the second quarter. Mitchell gets his get back a QB sprint all the way for six. He had two first half rushing touchdowns and a first half passing touchdown. AES will go on to win 35 22. Meanwhile, Karen Crow hosted Acadiana in the Crow Dome. First play, the Rams opening drive. Caden DeBellett sells the play fake, lost the ball to Tayden Collins. He takes it all the way. Acadiana has a 6 0 lead, and the Rams would not stop. There, next drive to better finds big Jaden Bessard who rumbles into the end zone, extending the Rams lead to 14. Again, he had to force his third straight punt and tack on another first quarter touchdown. This time on the speed option to Parker Bruno. Rams continuing to impress 51 to 7 winners. Stick around after the break, our top play nominees. <laughs> 